TSMC approves $21 billion for a chip production as potential for two nanometer production expansion opens up. Now, you guys might be aware, of course, that a big portion of this that is needed is the fact that TSMC does manufacture or is the largest manufacturer for chips and we have a chip shortage. So more expansion is always welcome. The Ta Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company has approved more capital expenditures in order to expand its chip fabrication capacity. TSMC is the world's largest contract semiconductor manufacturer, and the company is now facing competition from U.S. chip giant Intel Corporation, who also plans to enter the market. Intel saw its cash flows drop last year as it committed billions of dollars to build new plants. With today's approval, TSMC has allowed a little over half its fiscal year of 2022 capital expenditure, which the company announced at its latest earnings call held last month. The race between Intel and TSMC is currently focused on developing the two nanometer chip manufacturing technology. TSMC and the foundry arm of South Korean Shibol, uh Samsung Electronics, Samsung Foundry, will both enter three nanometer production later this year. And Intel is believed to be sourcing some parts for its semiconductor products from the Taiwanese firm. At the same time, the U.S. manufacturer is ramping up its semiconductor production after Intel announced an updated technology map earlier this year or last year. This map renamed Intel's manufacturing technologies to bring them at par with TSMC's products in terms of key metrics such as feature size and transistor density. One of these processes, dubbed by Intel as 20A, will directly compete with TSMC's 2 nanometer process. 20A is slated to enter early production in the second half of 2024, while TSMC expects its corresponding process technology to enter mass production in 2025. Intel's Intel 4 process, however that goes, thought to lie somewhere in between TSMC's 5 nanometer and 3 nanometer nodes will enter production in the latter half of this year with products slated to ship in 2023. Now, as per the report by the United Daily News, Taiwan's Taichung sector administration has approved expansion plans for expanding its science and industry park. These plans will now reserve an additional 94 hectares for the park. I probably said that wrong. I've said a lot wrong today. Um, and provide companies such as TSMC more land should they decide to build out more plants. TSMC refused to comment on expanding its two nanometer facility plans in Taichung after city officials confirmed the science park expansion. The company is currently believed to be focusing its efforts on building a two nanometer facility in Taiwan's uh, Husink, Husinkchu sector, something like that. Probably Sinkchu, probably silent H. There you go. I'm going to have to start Googling all of these. So this plant, confirmed by TSMC's management in June last year, was at the time waiting for land acquisition. Taichung city officials and TSMC management have also been uh, perp... Uh, perp oh my God, I'm out of it today. They've been discussing plans for expanding two nanometer production and officials have raised concerns about the high environmental impact from the facility. The Taiwanese fab also allocated 20.9 billion in funds for capital expenditure in a board meeting held earlier today, local time. TSMC has reserved between 40 billion and 44 billion in funds for capital expenditure, and the company's statement regarding today's allocation reads as follows: Approved capital appropriations for approximately 20,944 million, approximately whatever it is in North or Taiwanese, for purposes including. Here you go. Installation and upgrade of advanced technology capacity, installation of mature and specialty technology capacity, installation of advanced packaging capacity, fab construction, and installation of fab facility systems. 
Finally, second quarter through fourth quarter 2022 R&D capital investments and sustaining capital expenditures. This spending comes as worries persist in the chip segment of an inventory correction either in the second half of this year or early 23, 2023. Restrictions imposed in the wake of ongoing pandemic saw demand for consumer electronics and other technologies products increase, which in turn placed a greater burden on chip manufacturers such as TSMC. Now, I guess there is a worry currently, as they said, about a correction on inventory. This could be related to a lot of different things, uh, whether or not you think like, I guess, the mining affects it, right? The mining, if it goes further into a bear market and is not as much demand, could mean an over uh, production potentially of these parts, which could be part of what they're talking about. Uh, the correction could also be just getting it packaged and shipped out of the warehouses, that sort of thing. At this point, I think like it's pretty clear we still have shortage issues. A lot of the scalper markets are making this more difficult, especially with the things like Best Buy requiring a $200 membership to purchase the GPUs, which if you're a scalper is nothing. If you're like a, a regular gamer or content creator trying to purchase one GPU, basically all your GPUs through Best Buy just went up by $200, which is absolutely insane. But a lot of this isn't getting resolved, but with new plants coming into place for chips, uh, specifically memory modules, I think are really what need to be worked on. But that being said, we have Intel also that we talked about earlier this year that's going to be building a new plant in Ohio, if I recall correctly. And then, of course, this new one from TSMC means that we should have production up and running and start seeing alleviation for chip shortages uh, as early as 2023, it sounds like, and then probably for sure by 2025 that sort of thing. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.